This video is prepared according to the syllabus of KTU, course subject Web Technologies, course code CS368. We will concentrate on module 4. Today we are going to discuss about document object model in JavaScript. In this video, first of all we will discuss about an introduction to document object model. Then we will discuss about W3 document object model standard and uh, finding HTML elements such as using ID, HTML tag, class and all, and changing the HTML output stream, and changing the value of an attribute, changing HTML style and all, then document object model events, document object model animation. So before we start discussing about, let me say what is document object model. Document object model is nothing but a programming interface for HTML and XML documents. It is an object-oriented representation of web pages which can be modified with a scripting language like JavaScript. Whenever HTML document is loaded in the browser, it becomes a document object. Since it is an object, it has properties and mothers. The advantage of this is with the help of document object, we can add dynamic contents to our web pages. As I mentioned earlier, Whenever a web page is loaded, the browser creates a document object model of the page. The document object model is created as a tree of objects like this. The structure uh, is a hierarchy text stu structure. So if you see from the root, we have header and body part. In the other part we have head tag, there again we have a title tag, so we have a title text and all. Similarly in the case of body part, if you see we have different tags and all, anger tag, heading tag and all. So again generally we have text content. So this is the general tree of object structure. JavaScript can access all the elements in a web page making use of document object model. Let us discuss about the W3 document object model standard. It has three different parts, core document object model, XML document object model, HTML document object model. Core document object model is a standard model for all document types, whereas XML document object model is a standard model for XML documents and HTML uh, document it is a standard model for HTML documents. In this session, we are going to discuss about HTML document object model. It defines HTML elements as objects, properties of all HTML elements, the mother 
to access all HTML elements, events for all HTML elements. For any object, it has got properties and mothers. So mothers are actions you can perform on HTML elements. Properties are values of HTML elements that we can set or change. Now we are going to discuss about how to access an HTML element with the help of ID, tag, or class and all. Here, to find an element by ID, we use document dot get element by ID to access element by tag. We use document dot get element by tag name and by class name use document dot get element by class name here we use inner HTML also here inner HTML is property Whereas in the case of ID, if you consider using ID, if you consider get element by ID is the mother. That is most common way of accessing HTML element using ID. Inner HTML property, that is the easiest way to get the content of an element. To understand the concept of accessing elements by ID, let us consider a simple example. See the program here. We have used four P tags. So first one is having ID and last one is also having ID. So execution happens whenever that modification we make that will be available here. That modification definitely will reflect here. So during the execution of this where the modification is made that we will see. see Initially, we use two variables, element one, element two. So here we use document dot get element by id, id one. Here id one we use. So what will be available here in the element? So engineers will be available during the execution of this thing. What will be available? what will be available computer science and engineering will be available in element 2 okay now th this modification step we will see and whenever this is executed what will be printed but execution will happen one by one only from here to this only so when here in the sense welcome to the wonderful welcome to the world of element one element one what is there engineers welcome to the world of engineers like that only here welcome to the world of uh, computer science and engineering that way only you will get pending but before that i um, mean um, p tags are there that will execute first after that only totally these all will be executed okay now we will see where that id1 is modified see here it is modified uh, get element by id id1 
dot inner dot html here welcome to first element what was there the first engineer so welcome to engineers will be permanent as first line second as usual there is no um, id here so as usual electronics and communication i mean electronics engineering will be displayed then civil engineering will be displayed then again uh, id is here so we have to see where uh, that id is modified or not so here id is modifying here id2 is modifying so element 1 element 1 means what now element 1 in the sense it is modified value okay here actually we are mo in this step we are modifying id1 so now modified value only available here so element dot inner html repos welcome to engineers will be available here now one more string we can have after concatenation what we get welcome to engineers and doctors okay that we will get this is so now these forced uh, lines are executed uh, four paragraphs are executed next execution will come here that is document right welcome to the world of that is already I told initially its assignment is happen initial assignment that is element one what is in the element one initial assigned as engineers so element two initially assigned our computer science engineering that is available here that is uh, welcome to the world of engineers only will be printed here welcome to the world of computer science and engineering will be printed so these two lines also will get printed Okay, now let's discuss about how HTML elements can be accessed by using tag name. Consider this example program here. Initially, we used three paragraph tags, then ID we have specified, ID we have specified. The function uh, what we used is get element by tag name is used here the tag p tag is specified and is on variable we created as tag one so that for each and every index we using this uh, variable with the help of index we can access now what are the contents there in the paragraph tag the first paragraph tag um, refers tag 1 of 0 tag 1 of 2 tag 1 of 3 like that so once we print you are going to get the output this is the uh, thing so the normal output in the sense these three will be displayed the, uh, that is computer science electronic civil and all will be displayed after that based on that id one two three and all <coughs> modified uh, this thing you mean by id one in the sense here this particular this thing is this id is modified so this particular string string means welcome to tag one of zero computer science will be displayed here okay the next uh, this thing is welcome to the uh, i mean uh, tag one of one in the sense this one electronics and communication will be displayed here and finally civil engineering welcome to civil engineering will be displayed here that is what mentioned here See, these are the outputs so this is about uh, 
accessing of HTML by tag 9. So far we have discussed about how we can access HTML elements by using ID tag and all. Now we are going to discuss how it can be done by using class name. So uh, th this thing will be very clear through this very simple example. Now let us consider uh, to first to p tags that is class name we specified class 1, class 2 and all. Then next to that is for displaying we use id and all. ID 1, 1 and 2 ID we use for displaying. So let's see the execution of that. Initially, we in variable we are assigning that thing. So uh, the assignments what will be there in the first thing engineering and second uh, class class variable. These are variables. We have computer. Then modification is happening in this step. Here, class wise modification we are making. So, here what is available is class of class one of zero that represents first thing that is engineering class one of zero that represents engineering and so during the execution initially these two things will be displayed engineering and next computer these two things will be displayed next here we specified id for displaying so that is this step will be executed they are welcome to class one of zero that refers engineering welcome to engineering will be displayed in the second case class 2 of 0 that is computer science there the execution is class 2 of 0 computer science and engineering then again what is that science and then class 1 of 0 so three uh, strings are concatenated here first uh, string that is computer that is uh, specified uh, reference as class 2 computer then science and concatenate with the first string engineering computer science and engineering will be displayed here now we are going to discuss about changing the HTML output stream. The syntax for changing the HTML output stream is as shown here. This is the syntax. Document dot get element by id of id dot inner HTML is equal to new HTML. So let's see the program. Here we used uh, p tag and id is also specified id1. So during the execution of this thing, because of this id, this will get modified. So modified or new HTML only we will get as output. So initially it is specified engineering, but during the execution of this particular thing, this particular id will be modified here. Yeah and uh, we will get uh, output as computer engineering only not engineering so see the output computer engineering this is about changing the html output stream now we are going to discuss about changing the value of an attribute the syntax for changing the value of attribute is here that is uh, document dot get element by id of id attribute so here in this we need to specify the new value this is what the syntax for that let's see the program so in this program uh, what uh, we are modifying here is 
existing one image we have we have an existing image that is image dot pn image one dot png we have but during the execution of this thing that image this thing will be modified that is image two will be modified here this is so that uh, will be reflected as output this is the chain this is about changing the value of an attribute now let's discuss how to change html style using document object model first of all we see the syntax syntax is uh, here that is document dot get element by id of id dot style dot property is equal to new style we need to specify like this in the program itself we can specify uh, the style uh, consider the p tag here so what is specified here computer science and engineering so if you try to change the style that property will get changed so in the script uh, we specified change this particular uh, I mean p tag to uh, I mean style that color to change the color to red so now uh, computer science will be displayed in red color so we will get output red color only here it is not mentioned actually it is red only so after execution of this we will get red color okay we are going to discuss about document object model events the html document object model allows to execute some codes when an event happens event means when a user clicks the mouse when the mouse moves over an element when a web page is loaded when an image is loaded when an input field is changed when an html form is submitted when a user stops a key these are different different uh, situations where event occurs let us consider a simple program to understand the concept here it is specified the click event so moment uh, click moment you click the mouse button this will be executed that is document dot get element by id id is specified id1 so in this thing what modification will occur there actually that color will be changed to red so moment you click so <coughs> here click here to change color this, this button is displayed like this so moment you click this button color will be changed to computer science so this is one simple uh, example program for a document object model events now we are going to discuss about how we can change the background color change the background color see here the background color and text color background color and text color what we can do that we are going to discuss in this program our intention is to change moment you select moment you select this thing what should be changed this test color should be changed to uh, if you select black in the sense it should be 
changed to black. If you select red in the sense, it should be changed to red. This is what our intention. In the next case, we need to change the background. Background means that is white or light gray. So this is this uh, this is actually for selecting. That way, what will be changed? Background color will be. This is what the thing we need to implement. Here, one function is used. There actually, moment we select the values, values in the sense, in the case of uh, phone color change, we have two options, black, red, and R. So argument what is passed here is corresponding text. In this case, text will be passed. And here, what will be passed? Corresponding value, black or red will be passed here. This is the argument for the first case. We get here text. In here, we get corresponding color, black or red, that color we will get. So if that uh, uh, condition is true, corresponding value will be assigned. For example, if uh, this thing uh, we are passing that black in the sense uh, font color will be changed to block here that value is the same otherwise we are throwing the error this is also true in the uh, second option if you select the second option value will be red so that time similar thing that text will be passed here is the text the text will be passed here then here what uh, red that corresponding value will be passed and it will be assigned okay this is also true in the case of second case changing the background and all white color light gray and all when you select that argument first argument is background color here second argument is here that corresponding value that is white or gray value accordingly what value we are passing based on that background will be changed if it is light gray means this shows light gray selected to light gray and the phone color is selected to red this is about changing of background and phone colors so i think you got idea about this okay we have discussed the program now we are going to see the demonstration of the program okay the same steps already uh, we have discussed now we are going to see the demonstration see here here we have output uh, see here what we need to do is first thing is we need to change the color of the phone second thing is we need to change the background okay so here we need to select which color you are going to uh, change see here black red so two colors are specified so what you can do is you can change to now it is black so you can change to red so now it has been changed to uh, red color or similarly you can try for uh, background color also background color now it is white so you can change to gray so now that is also change okay this much is clear is it clear for you okay that is clear right in this section we are going to discuss about how we can implement an animation using document object model assume that we want to move this particular small box in this area that is from this corner to this corner this is what our intention for doing that we should have some idea about this entire area and area of the small square assume that this area is considered as 
फोर हंड्रेड बाई फोर हंड्रेड दिस इज कंसिडर्ड एज फोर हंड्रेड बाई फोर हंड्रेड पिक्सल्स एंड दिस इज फिफ्टी पिक्सल्स फिफ्टी बाई फिफ्टी आर कंसिडरिंग नाउ मोमेंट इट मूव फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इट शॉप स्टॉप समेयर हियर राइट सो देर शुड बी प्रोविशन टू स्टॉप द this particular box somewhere here before reaching to 400 that is the size of this thing means 400 minus this area we will get so in 350 itself we need to stop here so we need to uh, set the i mean uh, the condition to stop in the 350 itself otherwise we need to keep on incrementing the position so initially that position should be set to zero so the programs we can start accordingly that is the normal thing so initially position we need to state and finally we need to check it reaches to 350 or not this is the thing this uh, okay let it be there the next thing is in the web page we are running this thing web page in the sense we need to specify div tab properly then only that will work so here <coughs> the in there we treat it as a container and this is as an animate id we used here as animate and here id as container so this is for this div tag is for um uh, this one this div, div tag is for entire container and this is for the uh, this particular anim animate box now movement is done based on this uh, i mean id only this particular tag id only okay so for movement initially we are assigning in a variable so there it is specified what movement should happen here initially it is set to zero then it it should keep on updating that is the thing we need to do so once the position so we need we you need to have a position variable so initially it is set to zero then we have to keep on incrementing that position variable and this variable we need to update based on the position variable top left of that position variable and corresponding pixels okay so this will do like that the condition is that as i mentioned earlier position is equal to 350 means we need to stop here otherwise we need to keep on displaying this this is about this okay now the execution will happen like this but when it should start moving that we need to specify that is on using on mouse click event moment you click at this button then this animation should happen that is what specified so we need to specify the mouse click event so moment you click the mouse this particular function should execute my move function that is this function should execute that is what specifies this function already i discussed so it should execute this is about animation um program that is used in document object model so far we have discussed the working of the animation program and uh, now we are 
going to demonstrate the program this is the program we discussed now we are going to demonstrate the program to understand how exactly that is working already we have mentioned that to initiate the working we need to click click that is based on the click event only that is going to work that function will in mock moment you click the button see now it is animating properly see clear no so anyway today we are going to wind up today's section i think so these are the fundamental things so you now you got uh, basic idea about how to do this all thing so once you go through this you will get an idea about uh, all such fundamental things thank you thank you for watching my video